僕を忘れないでほしいなついに帰ってきたぞ Hello, I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora. Let's cut right to the chase. In Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS, Roy is returning to the series. Last time, Roy appeared as a fighter in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Unlike Marth, Roy's sword is stronger at its base, so you'll want to keep your opponents close when using him. With enhanced strength, he's significantly more powerful now than he was in Super Smash Bros. Melee. His design received an overhaul too. His original look has been updated to look more in line with the times. In Melee, he didn't have a final smash, but this time he'll deliver a devastating sword blow in a move straight out of Fire Emblem. He'll be made available alongside the revival of Lucas. Roy's back from Super Smash Bros. Melee, and Lucas returns from Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Of the many fighters from past versions, I hope fans are happy to have back these two that were particularly popular. Here's the price information for each. Next, some new Mii Fighter costumes. Get ready for some unexpected titles. As for new Mii Fighter costumes, there's Virtua Fighter. Jackie's costume is a leather jacket based on his most recent design. Akira's harkens back to his blocky design in the original Virtua Fighter. Now the legendary 3D fighting game Virtua Fighter is represented in Super Smash Bros. We hope you like it. And because of series popularity, we're adding in costumes for Mega Man EXE and Zero from Mega Man X. Isabel from Animal Crossing, and even the Inklings from Splatoon. Let's not forget in-game Splatoon trophies too. Here are the prices for these additional Mii costumes. By the way, while we've released many Amiibo already, these amiibo are finally on their way. Mii Fighters. These include the Mii Brawler, Mii Sword Fighter, and Mii Gunner. 
you can configure any of these amiibo freely, meaning you can dress them up in DLC costumes too. Create a face to your liking and pick a matching costume to expand your use of these amiibo. There are other Super Smash Bros. series amiibo coming too. First, three classic game stars, Rob, Duck Hunt, and Mr. Game & Watch. Then comes Falco. As you can see, Mr. Game & Watch is flat, and he comes with a number of different poses you can swap out. All these amiibo figures will be available this September. Eventually, all 51 fighters from Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS will be released as amiibo. Having all these characters appearing in the same set like this, there's nothing else quite like it. Of course, you can level them up one by one. Mewtwo and Lucas amiibo will be released as well. You can check for more details and release dates on the official amiibo site. And finally, we're releasing more stages. Brings back memories, doesn't it? This is Dreamland. It's a Kirby stage from the original Super Smash Bros. game on Nintendo 64. We've intentionally replicated the original style, but we did renew certain parts. Of course, this stage also has an Omega form. We've recreated this stage for both the Wii U and Nintendo 3DS versions. The price is listed right here. No. I don't think we can add too many more stages, but we're planning a couple more from the original Super Smash Bros. game. Here's a little taste. The Miiverse stage is finally coming to the Wii U version. During matches while connected to the internet, you'll start to see Miiverse posts appear, cheering fighters on in the background. These messages will be fueled by your support. We'll be opening a Miiverse community for each character, so if you post your messages there, they'll show up in the background of players' matches. I'm sure it's exciting to think that your posts will appear in someone else's matches, so please participate. On the bonus CD that was available from Club Nintendo, there are some songs that you may never have actually heard in the game. They're from this Miiverse stage. I hope you like this music too. As for the price, yes. The Miiver stage is free to enjoy. Now for an announcement regarding tourneys. The new tourneys mode will feature community tourneys where you can compete for the highest points in a certain amount of time, as well as regular tourneys which only happen at certain times just like real tournaments. We already finished developing both types, but we want to make sure we test out the online features thoroughly, so please wait just a bit longer. We're planning to begin supporting them in August, so stay tuned. There's another new feature in the works. Super Smash Bros. for Wii U will soon allow you to post replay videos on YouTube. Until now, when you applied updates, your old data would usually cease to be compatible with the updated version, but with this new replay posting feature, you can record videos and post them on YouTube. They'll be normal video files, so you can view them from your PC or smartphone too. To use this feature, you'll need a Google account. For details, please check the official site after the service begins. Now for the final announcement. Please take a look.
to smash. Come on. Defeat my Shoryuken to stand a chance. Thank you for waiting. Ryu of the Street Fighter series joins the fight. He arrives in Super Smash Bros. seeking powerful opponents. He's being created to most closely resemble his Street Fighter II form. In that game, there were six buttons, but Smash focuses on two. Yet somehow, he'll have a wide range of moves at his disposal. Even his low attacks have light, medium, and heavy versions. That's because the move you activate depends on whether you tap the button or press and hold the button. You can use completely different moves from light to heavy by holding the button longer. Rapidly tap the button to chain attacks or hold it longer for a strong attack. This is important when using Ryu. You even have a weak side attack or a strong side attack. You can use familiar Street Fighter moves too. Collarbone Breaker is a great shield breaking move and Jodan Sokutogeri is a move from Street Fighter 3. In general, Ryu is geared toward dealing out combo attacks. Some of these combos appear in Street Fighter games, and there are some new ones too. And of course, his signature move. You can activate a Hadouken with the press of a button. Remember, you can change the speed of the move by altering how long you press and hold it down. For the Hadouken, we've also accommodated Street Fighter's familiar command inputs. If you enter its original command, the move is a bit stronger. Another type of Hadouken, the Shakunetsu Hadouken, can be activated by entering a Yoga Flame command. There's also the Hurricane Kick. It's hugely destructive, and it can be used for movement too. Now, for the invincible finishing move, the Shoryuken. You can activate a Shoryuken with just one button press, but if you enter the original command input, there's a good chance you will KO your opponent. Try making contact at the start of the animation. If you input the command correctly, the character's voice and effects will change, so trust me, you'll know. His down special move is called a focus attack. It lets you take a hit from your opponent and stun them. Keep pressing the button to increase its power. If you hit the opponent, press forward twice to cancel the animation and dash, then attack. And Ryu has two final smashes. He's the first fighter in Super Smash Bros. history to have that. If you perform his final smash the normal way, it's a Shinku Hadouken. It'll hit surrounding opponents as well. Pull it off next to an opponent, and you'll have the chance to seal the deal. Longer hit stop frames, different hit sound effects, and more. We developed this fighter to highlight his special characteristics. I hope you enjoy playing as him. We're also releasing the new stage, Suzaku Castle. The right side provides stable footing, while the left side has smaller separated platforms. That means your strategy needs to adapt to the side you're on. And when you launch your opponent at close range, you can actually destroy the signs. In Omega form, it looks even closer to the original game. The stage will appear on both Wii U and Nintendo 3DS versions. 
For the background music, you can select the theme from Ryu's stage in the original game. During battle, the music will switch to a different theme when you near the end of the match. That's also new to the Smash series. I should mention, in the Wii U version, Ken's original stage theme is included, and a remix too. There's even a remix of the theme from Ryu's stage. This one was arranged by Street Fighter II's sound composer, Ms. Yoko Shimomura. Plus, the character's illustration was done by the original character designer, Akiman. We've also included a Ryu trophy and a Ken trophy, too. You can, of course, get these in-game trophies just by playing the game. We put a lot of effort into implementing Ryu into these games. Enjoy! Ryu and Suzaku Castle come as a set for the prices you see on screen. Oh, I almost forgot. It's somewhat unrelated, but representing Tekken is Heihachi with a Mii Fighter costume. You can sport his unique hairstyle, too. Three top fighting games have now united in Super Smash Bros. Please enjoy. We've already decided to create Amiibo of Roy and Ryu as well. The release timing hasn't been finalized yet, but please check back on the official Amiibo site later. Okay, let's review everything. Ryu. Roy, Lucas, Akira, Jackie, Isabel, Mega Man EXE, Zero, Inkling Boy and Inkling Girl, Squid Hat, Heihachi, Dreamland, The Miiverse Stage, Suzaku Castle, Omega Form Stages, the bonus trophies, Ryu, Ken, Roy, Lucas, and Splatoon. You can also get these special trophies by completing All-Star Mode. All of these are already available for you to download. Please check the in-game notifications or the official site for more details. That's all for this Super Smash Bros. New Content Approaching video presentation for June 14th, 2015. Thank you for watching.